What's up, you guys? Eddie at Fliptronics. We're going to be checking out NordVPN versus IPVanish for 2018. All right, so I'm currently subscribed to both of these services. Uh, you know, if you're not currently using a VPN, I just want to say you definitely should be. You know, they're good for browsing anonymously. Google can't track you. You can fake your location. You can uh, download and stream movies and torrents without your service provider hitting you up saying you're doing something illegal. And then, of course, you can access restricted websites not available in your country. All right, so I will also have links in the description if you want want to sign up at either of these as I'm going over some of the differences. Now, I love both of them. They, they both have really good mobile apps. Um, you know, one of the things, though, about IPVanish is that uh, they have a thousand servers you can connect to, while Nord has 4,000. So you're going to have more locations and servers if you decide to go with, uh, you know, Nord. That's one of the main differences. Um, I'm going to pull up IPVanish's main uh, website here just to go over a little bit before I log into their app but like I said they've got a thousand different servers on here which is still really good over 60 different countries um, uh, you can access up to 10 devices simultaneously which is cool so if you've got a phone you know a laptop uh, tablet whatever you can you know log into one account up to 10 different devices which is cool um, this is also going to be a $10 a month plan so if you decide to go with the monthly plan with IP vanish it's going to be 10 bucks uh, so that's that um, but let's talk about Nord a little bit here now Nord um, been around a little bit longer they've been around for about six years uh, you can access up to six devices simultaneously so you have a few different uh, devices that you can use at one time but you have over 4400 servers to choose from worldwide with over 62 countries so you're gonna have some more options on here I'm gonna say that uh, now as far as like the payments on this one uh, I think Nord's like 1199 something like that so it's gonna be like two dollars more but it's still very comparable I mean I don't know if two dollars is gonna make or break anybody but let's load up Nord first now Having been using this service for a while, I gotta say, you know, the map feature on here is just really cool. You have a couple different options for connecting on here. So if you wanted to connect, uh, you know, via the map feature, you could browse around anywhere in the world. You see these little blue dots everywhere. You can zoom in on these dots and then you can connect to, uh, you know, any location. I don't even know what that is right there. We'll just connect to this one right here. <laughs> um, anyways, when you're ready to connect, you just can press the connect button, and then it'll pull up your new active IP uh, and your new location. So that's all really cool, right? Uh, you know, everything is connected there. I'm going to disconnect for a second, though. Uh, if you wanted to connect, you know, via you know just kind of like browsing through servers alphabetically you could do that you know, you've got Australia right here um, when you click on something though uh, like a country it's gonna pull up the servers best on on their best you know uh, whatever connections currently so you can have it set to best press the connect button and now we're gonna be connected to Australia so I mean it's really that easy uh, the mobile app I mean the interface here is gonna look exactly the same whether you're on like a desktop uh, laptop uh, whatever Mac or PC I mean this is pretty much what the interface is gonna look like no matter what so I'm gonna you know disconnect and now I'm gonna pull up IP vanish now IP vanish is a little bit less uh, I guess you could say interactive there's no map feature on here so you know they basically have this is how it looks uh, when you're ready to look for you know an area you want to connect to you pretty much browse by you know the country I guess we could just use Australia again for example it'll pull up the best city available but you could choose a different one if you want you've got Melbourne and Sydney I'm pretty sure Sydney's the best and then you would press the connect button now one thing I do like about IP vanish is that it pulls up your uh, active connection speed which is pretty cool so as soon as this connects you'll get to see that and it pulls up like the speed which is just kind of cool so you see the I'm connected to Sydney Australia you got this like little cool chart feature um, and uh, connections on here stay active as well you don't have to like worry about anything as far as that goes so that's pretty much it for IP vanish it's a little bit less intuitive you don't have the map feature and it's pretty straightforward now um, what I got to say is I'm, I'm subscribed to both of these, so like I said, it's kind of hard for me to say one's better than the other. I do like some of the features, obviously, on Nord better. It's like $2 more a month to use Nord, okay, compared to IP Vanish. They both get the job done, um, but if I had to choose one or the other, I probably would just go with Nord because I just like the interface of it better, uh, and, uh, you know, I just have a little bit more history with it. Um, you can also act 
uh, <coughs> connect up to 10 devices with IP Vanish, only six with Nord. But another big selling point for me is that Nord's got more servers to connect to. So you have more options as far as that goes, 4,400 compared to 1,000 with IP Vanish. So those are some of the, you know, differences. Uh, you know, like I said, if I had to choose one, I'd go with Nord, but IP Vanish is still solid as well. If you're looking to save like two bucks a month, then I'd go with that one. I'll have links in the description if you want to sign up for either of these. Definitely get your VPN game on, you know, get a VPN ASAP. Everybody should be using one. If you'd also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching it, guys, and we'll see y'all later.